hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to talk about uh, a book this will be a review video and the book that i'm going to talk about is the gambler by fyodor dostoevsky this book is a short novel i'm not sure this is considered a novella uh, i think not i think this is uh, considered just a short novel i don't know if in the um, categorization in english a short novel um, is the same as a novella i don't know but as you can see this is a short book and this was published in 1866 and in here we get to know Alexei Ivanovich, a 25-year-old home teacher that works for a general. And right now the general is passing a season in Germany, in Rolandenburg. So he lives in a luxurious hotel with them. He lives with the general, with his stepdaughter Paulina and some small children, two small children, in Rothenburg, Germany. I have to apologize, I have my windows open and I have some nearby dogs from my neighbors that are really barking, as you can hear. So I really apologize for the noise. I hope it can't be, I hope it won't be so noticeable I apologize for that. So, Rolandenburg was like Las Vegas in Europe in the 19th century, known for being an area of a lot of medicinal waters and also a lot of casinos. So, is a bit ironic, right? The same place that is known and where people went to find health is the same place where people got ill financially and mentally. When he, the general is still in Russia, he um, mortgaged his property to pay a debt to a Frenchman because he enjoyed playing in roulette and he lost a lot of money on it. And now for six months he's been looking for to hear of the death of an aunt in Moscow because she has a big inheritance for him and as he is passing through difficulties financially he's hoping that she, the, the hunt the hunt dies. The aunt, I'm sorry. <laughs> the aunt dies and he gets that in, in inheritance. The general is infatuated with a girl, a young girl, um, Miss Blanche. She is French and he wants to marry her. In the story is explained that she has been in Roulettenburg before uh, but, and that she tried to seduce a baron but the Baroness found out and expelled her from the city. So you can think of it like she's a bit of a gold digger and it's easy to understand why she's so nearby the general as well, right? And in all of this, the Frenchman who the general is in debt with is awaiting for these events and is always near the general. Alexei is friends with an Englishman, an aristocrat, and they both are in love with Paulina, the general's stepdaughter. Alexei's relationship with Paulina is a bit toxic. Alexei swear to Paulina that he will serve her and do as she pleases. And in this story, he is explained a situation that happens it's like a, a proposal that Paulina does to Alexei and Alexei um, accepts and does, it's like a dare, you know, 
And Alexei does something that has some consequences to him, real consequences, and is just to show how their relationship is and their dynamic is a bit dangerous and a bit toxic. And Paulina asks him to gamble for her because she needs a lot of money, but she never says why she needs the money. And so Alexei goes to gamble for her because he has quite an experience in gambling. The aunt of the general arrives to uh, Roulettenburg from Moscow and announces that she knows all about the debt that the general has to the Frenchman and that she is not going to give any of her money to him after she dies. She likes Alexei right away and asks for his guidance in the casino. She goes to gamble with him and wins a big amount in the first evening. For the next three days, she goes gamble in the casino, but loses a lot of money. And in here, the general intervenes and wants Alexei to persuade her aunt, his aunt, to um, stop gambling but he's hopeless because the aunt do as she pleases. And eventually, seeing her bad luck, she returns to Moscow. And with the fortune of the general in jeopardy, Miss Blanche pretends like she doesn't know the general and he, it leaves, he leaves him crazy. After that, some things unfold in a story and our main character, Alexei, begins to gamble in the casino. Our main can character is a troubled man with gambling and the love of a woman. And you will have to read till the end to find out which one takes the most out, out of him. Dostoevsky himself suffered from gambling addiction. He always lived in financial difficulties and his editor or his publisher um, that for whom Dostoevsky worked. He said that he was a swindler and that in October of 1866, this uh, publisher proposed to Dostoevsky that he had to bring him a book, a work, to present uh, to him till the 1st of November, so like a month, right? And if he doesn't, if he wouldn't do that, he would lose the rights for his other books, published uh, books, for nine years. So the gamble was written, was written in uh, more or less 20 days. So you can imagine how a person can unfold a story like that in less than a month. In this short novel, he exposes how the Russian people are very susceptible um, to roulette and gambling, and that as itself is a critic to himself, because he himself was a gambler. He also shows the world of casinos as an allegory for two um, capitalism according to his view. As a system full of false promises, hypocritical moralism and a magnet for swindlers, since the more poor to the more rich. So for some uh, scholarly, the gambler has a lot of autobiographical. Bio Dostoevsky makes use of his own experience to write his story and composes these characters to show how they are led to ruin both financial and moral. Dostoevsky also makes critics of his fellow Russians, rich Russians, in the way they liked to imitate other Europeans. The way of dressing, the way of talking, that he thought it was ridiculous. He made fun of Germans, Englishmen, and specifi specifically uh, Frenchmen, that 
were considered by Dostoevsky especially annoying. So, um, in this book you have a panoply of um, critic. It's an interesting story. I have to confess that I wasn't in love by the story. I didn't found it to be um, cat captivating, but I understand the, um, the indirect messages and the, and the subtle subtleties, right? <laughs> subtleties um, of the, the whole story, how he was in, um, creative and ingenious to um, put this, this type of critic that he does to society and to, yes, to society in general and how we are, and how we, we let ourselves to be seduced by the vicious world and we let ourselves get until involved in addiction but still, I wasn't really a fan of the story, so it was an um, okay book for me, even though I wasn't really enchanted by the story. It has to be praised that uh, Dostoevsky wrote this in more or less 20 days, so that's an achievement, and that's to be admired. And as I understand it, he didn't have an easy life. So, um, of what I understand, I'm now reading the Brothers Karamazov and I think that a lot of his writing is based on his own experience and it's, his books are a bit dark with subjects that are very difficult to talk about with many discussions. That's what I'm understanding from the brothers Karamazov. But that's for the future. I'll do, when I finish that reading, I'll do a video about it. But yeah, overall, it was an okay reading. I think it's worth it, even still. It's a really easy reading. It's fast, so it won't take much of your time. And I think after all, it's really worth it. And please let me know if you have read it, what you thought about the book, what was your taking for, from this story. I would love to know. And yeah, I think that's it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Leave a like, it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one. Bye!